three of the hardest concepts you're going to learn in macroeconomics. Number one is comparative advantage, specifically determining how countries should trade and their terms of trade. The trick is to set up the question the same every single time. So if a question gives you numbers in a sentence, convert it over to a chart and then use the same procedure that you see in my study guides and in my videos. Number two is using the GDP deflator, converting nominal to real and real to nominal. The trick is to remember the GDP deflator is kind of like the CPI. Instead of being a specific basket of certain things, it's the basket of everything, the nominal GDP divided by that basket adjusted for inflation, the real GDP times 100. And just like the CPI, the deflator tells you how much prices have changed. So if it's 130, that means prices increased 30%. And number three, long run adjustments. Questions on your exam have to be extremely specific because the answer depends on if they're talking about the long run or the short run. The trick is to read the question carefully and remember that in the long run, the economy will self-correct if there's a negative or if there's a positive output gap. Make sure to subscribe for part two.